translate the last pages of Srimad Bhagavatam on November 14, 1977. He left back for the spiritual world. And he would sit and translate. And sometimes, mostly he would write letters here. So every day on the table you can see a letter is there. It would be changed every day. This used to be the, this is the stick which Bhopad used to use when walking, Vilasini Nataji donated. This is actually the room of his servant. Prabhupada's servant used to stay. And in that way you can say his holiness Bhakti Charu Swami Maharaj also stayed here. These are some of his print blocks, League of Devotee pamphlets and his Bhagavad Gita own hand signed. Bengali version of Bhagavatam which Prabhupada has used for translation. Some paper cut pages from Prabhupada's medical journal. Prabhupada's paraphernalia. His Prabhupada's hair also is here, you can see. Prabhupada's beard different paraphernalia Prabhupada's brass lota and his bathing sponge his soap dish his spitting spit on lota his beaks glycerine and rose water vaseline medicines Prabhupada used to use and also it is Kerala water Listerine all the medicines which he used to use, dashes and cover, Prabhupada's chadar, his watch, his bagal bandi, his sannyas, upper cloth, roti, hat, Prabhupada's hat, towel, bath towel, his chadar, with an alphabet, Prabhupada's harmonium, and then his glasses, This is a calendar when Prabhupada left or he entered Samadhi. Winding cloth used to be his Prabhupada's resting through the body. And his palanquin, chadars came to Prabhupada. We are entering the other room of the museum. You can see Prabhupada quarters here, Prabhupada's containers, his tiffin, famous tiffin, you know, how he would cook. His prasad marginal plates, his uh, photo of Krishna Varanga prasad plate, table, prasad table actually, and his spoon, right by Upendra Baba, Chitalaka Matadana Pushmataji, Prabhupada's drinking glass. You can see this glass in this and a photo of that table. This table is this one which you can see here with Prabhupada. Here Prabhupada also is to translate in Radha Dhamma the temple. Prabhupada cabinet, Prabhupada kept in this In this palanquin Prabhupada would be carried. And this is a cushion and chin by Prabhupada disciples. Prabhupada would sit at the palanquin, you can see. What is this? Prabhupada's last passport. It's Prabhupada's drum in which Prabhupada kept his books. Stone tiles. Prabhupada's veranda at Radha Damodar. Now Radha Damodar is also under the Iskons care. Here you can see Radha Damodar temple. Right side is Radha Dhamma. In this picture is Prabhupada's room and left side is kitchen. These are the buckets that Prabhupada is used, used to use the letter. Mailbox Swami Prabhupada is written here. Prabhupada's utensils, cooking pots, knife, coconut scrappers, his mosquito net quilt. We'll go 
to the garden a little late. Prabhupada would take massage, you see. Here also Prabhupada would stay and take rest in the lunch time. This is Almira, which is a famous one, you know, which Prabhupada used to keep, keep the key with him all the time with his thread. And in that key, inside another key, another key, another key, in that lab Prabhupada would keep things. This Prabhupada divine suitcase. Here we have one detail of Sila Prabhupada, standing from Lotus Feet, Darshan, Jai Sila Prabhupada. Prabhupada, some more things are here. <laughs> Prabhupada would actually take rest during lunch. The shy. This used to be just like that, two room like that. And this used to be the bathroom, those days. This used to be the bathroom. This wheelchair Prabhupada would use. And inside will be the latrine compartment. to Rajivasi Pran Prabhu. He made me allow come in. He is a dear devotee and disciple of His Holiness Bhakti Chavasana Maharaj. He allowed us come to go to these secret rooms. Here Prabhupada would take his massage in this park. I showed a photo before. This was just like before in this uh, lockdown. They got renovated and here I showed you, I can show you the kitchen where His Holiness Bhakti Chaur Swami Maharaj would cook in this kitchen. You can see in this kitchen, you can see this photo of 2014 where His Holiness Bhakti Chaur Swami Maharaj would cook it for proper and uh, this is a place where the match cooked and you know my photo uh, yeah this is the kitchen but now right now the cooking is not done here cooking is done for the Prabhupada in Samadhi from DT kitchen only Gurmaj used to cook those days and now also Gurmaj when he wants he comes and cooks here you would make chapati for Prabhupada this is the same place with Rajavasi Prandhavi. So this is Prabhupada's kitchen. Those days Gurmaj used to cook. And Gurmaj told actually that those days he would cook only 4-5 items but now so many items uh, devotees are cooking. So Prabhupada's sitting place. And the stairs I will take you is through this. See? These are locked. Actually, there used to be no door those days. I'm showing you from behind. Those days, there would be no door. Now, the door has been made. And then you can go up and up till his room. Hare Krishna. All glories to Sula Prabhupada. All glories to his divine grace. So, this is Prabhupada's lunch rest. And that is upstairs is the day rest. And this is his meeting room with the devotees all the time where he departed from this world physically. And this is his servant room in an itself. Hare Krishna, all glories to his divine grace.